a Civilization VI master, shares his tips with you so you can beat the game at the hardest level of play in any victory condition on any size map. These tips will give you exactly what you need to research, when, what units to go after, so you have the best chance of beating this game. Let's go. I am the Civilization VI master, who has beaten the game in every single way, and the tips are, start with science virtue. Go down that tree, head to academies. Build academies everywhere, because they give you five science for every one, plus one culture as well, once you get that technology. Then you go for purity. Purity nodes will give you battle armor, and that battle suit is the best unit in this game, it's the cheapest. Also make combat armors. Those rovers, combat rovers, become armors, and they have three movement, and together with combat rovers and battle suits, you'll be able to completely dominate the game as a military. Once you've gone through the science tree, go down the industry tree. Industry gives you production, which is very important, so you can build things faster. After you've done production, go a little bit down the combat tree, ignore the growth tree. In terms of technologies, always go for the nodes that give you enhancements to culture, like the Bytegeist. Make sure you build the Bytegeist. Any wonder which gives you enhancements to culture will be helpful because it takes a very long time to go down those culture trees without those enhancements. Always make sure you have a lot of military units because at the hardest level of play, the computer is very aggressive and they will be attacking you, so you need to defend and you can also take over cities. How many cities? You should make four cities and after four cities, have trade routes between each city because the intercity trade routes will boost your food and production very much so you can grow and produce a lot quicker. Take over cities and for the capitals, Annex them. Do not puppet them because you will want more production control and you don't want the penalties of puppet cities. So build four cities and then go aggressive and take over the closest capital and then go on the defensive so that you can always enjoy growth in a safe manner. Now when you reach a lot of military units you're thinking let's just conquer everybody but you're going to lose on the health. The health is very difficult to maintain if you keep conquering other cities. So you need to balance your health, and it's okay to get negative. Go down to negative nine health, that's okay. Even negative 19 health is okay, because the penalty is not that great. And then you can build up your health by building bio farms, which give you an additional health for every tile, and going after the virtues and the technologies that enhance health and build all the structures like pharma labs, like clinics, which give you extra health in each city. If you want to see what starting choices to make, click here. This video will take you to every single choice you need to make before you start the game, the correct choices. And after you've started the game, as I said, go after the science, go after purity, make four cities, conquer after that, don't build more than four cities yourself. It's more efficient to conquer capitals. And go after purity for the battle armor and the combat rovers, which are the normal units. And those will get upgraded as you gain in the purity affinity. And the actual victory of the game is up to you. The purity victory is pretty easy. You just need to build the exodus gate once you reach 13 in that affinity. But you can go after contact. You can go after harmony. You can go after... Uh, supremacy. Once you've built that initial foundation, you can go and win the game in any way you want at the hardest level of play on the largest size map. Did you find this video helpful to help you win? Tell me in the comments below. I'd love to hear your master strategies on how to beat this game. I feel I've beaten it in every single way. I will no longer make videos or play this game until it becomes more challenging because it's gotten too easy. Sid, come on, dude. Make this game a little more tough. I think you can do it. You've made Civilization V extremely difficult. In fact, I call it impossible to win at the standard size map at the hardest level of play, but it certainly was beatable when Civ V first came out, and I was very quick to beat it with the horse 
rush strategy that became ineffective later on. So I hope Civilization VI Beyond Earth will also gain new strategies that will make the current techniques I've just described obsolete. But for now, they work. They will let you win the game in every single way. And I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Freedom. And who am I? I am George, founder of Freedom and MGN, our multi-gaming network and you've been watching... Let's discover freedom. Click the first video to learn what is freedom and how it helps you grow. Click the second video to learn about sponsorships for all freedom partners, even if you have just 10 subscribers. And click the other videos like how do I leave freedom to learn more. Click get more views to learn how to build your audience faster on YouTube. Click Get More CPM to learn how to make more money from your channel. And click Get More Music to learn where to get more music to spice up your videos. Click the first playlist to watch The George Show on Freedom. That's my show. Or watch The Anthony Show or The Alex Show, also on Freedom. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it. We are all part of it and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That Play Now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started. Your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Now